Ooh, he caught Ted Hill. That was sheesh. Did he just flinch? I don't want to go to Oh, you want to. <laughs> Yo, you tapped into a flyer frequency, show decency, smash the like button to say the least, or say the most, salute your host, and tap in on the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I just want to speak to this Javante Tank Davis versus Frank Martin fight. This ain't the first time that Tank did what he said he was going to do. He always show he is who he say he is. And so we just got to, at this point, give him his flowers, you know. As far as Frank, yo, is Frank the best fighter that Devontae Tank Davis has faced to this point? I think so. According to Tank, this wasn't his hardest fight, and it didn't look like it was hard for him. It didn't look hard at all, and I don't think that that makes Frank less of a fighter or anything like that. I think he still is who we think he is, but I think that he was just nervous. I think that... uh he approached the fight wrong. You know, he didn't fight the way he usually fight. And uh, I say that because I'm used to seeing Frank move forward. You know, I'm used to him being on the front foot and not on the back foot. In this fight, Frank came out on the back foot from round one until he got knocked out, yo. And he didn't put up no kind of resistance or anything. He didn't stand his ground. I think it would have been better for Frank Martin to come out in the first round and establish that he wasn't going to be pushed back. You know, I think that's uh, what he needed to do. I think him pressing Tank would have been a mistake. And uh, who knows, he probably would get knocked out just uh, standing in the middle of the ring with Tank. But I think that was his best chance because I think that he could possibly catch, uh, he could have, uh, you know, been banking on catching Tank in an exchange or something like that, you know. But as far as everything else, Tank does everything better than Frank. I don't think that Frank is better than Tank in any area of boxing. You know, I don't think that his ring IQ is as good as Tank's. You know, um, I don't think that he has the experience to even be in there with Tank. And uh, his skills definitely aren't better than Tank's. You know, it's, it's just levels. You know, it's a different level. And even Tank's power is is greater than his. So I think he pretty much had a puncher's chance, you know, and uh, his best chance for me, I think, was for him to uh, catch Tank in an exchange in the middle of the ring. Him on the back foot wasn't a good idea, you know, for Tank to be walking him down. But Tank did show me something. Tank, he showed me that he can walk a fighter down the whole fight. You know, I, I didn't. This is the first time I remember ever seeing this from uh, Tank, you know, him having to walk somebody down. And at this point, Tank showed us everything. You know, he showed us every uh, different aspect of the, his game. He's an all-around complete fighter. He can walk you down. He can set you up for something. He can box. He got power. He got that uh, one-punch knockout power. You know, Tank, he got the full package and everything. Pause. <laughs> you know, as far as boxing is concerned, you know, he got everything that he needs. But I'm not... Uh, just so I'm not going to be just so quick to say that he'll beat everybody. You know, I think uh, guys like Shakur and even Devin still have a chance, you know, to outbox him and knock it caught. If they, I think if they can last, you know, the 12, full 12 rounds and not get knocked out, I definitely think Shakur, you know, um, has a chance. I'm not, I'm not even going to say Devin because Devin is at 140 and everything. Um, Shakur is still down there at 135. It's a fight that we all want to see, a fight that definitely can be made, and it sounds like it's a fight that Tank is willing to make. You know, uh, I think, what is it, a, a seven-fight, six-fight deal or something? Whatever that deal is that Tank was talking about, you know, on his hit list, Shakur is there. I think that'll probably be his uh, best test, you know, to this point. You know, he could because Shakur, 
he has all the accolades, you know, him being a multi-division champ, him also having the experience and all of that, and being a slick fighter. A lot of people were categorizing Frank Martin as a slick fighter, a black slick fighter. I don't think that Frank Martin is a slick fighter. I think Frank Martin is kind of flat-footed. He's a pressure guy. You know, he he's not the guy that's going to just make you miss. You know, that's not his style of fighting. He usually overwhelms fighters or he walks them down. He just puts pressure on guys. And uh, so I think he didn't fight his fight when he fought Tank. He was on the back foot the whole night again. And, um, yeah, I think if Shakur can last to the, uh, the full 12 rounds, I definitely think Shakur can win that fight because I think that Shakur Stevenson might be a better boxer than Tank. You know, he has something that he does better than Tank, I think. And that's boxing and, you know, the slick fighting. You know, I think he makes uh, people, he gets hit less. You know, he can make you miss and stand in the pocket there. I don't think that that's a good idea for him to stand in the pocket with Tank, though. But I do think that he has that attribute where he can stand in the pocket with you and make you miss and hit you. And he has, you know, uh, fast enough feet to uh, get out of the way, you know, to uh, keep his distance and keep it at the distance that he want the fight to be at. And I also think that his IQ is high enough for him to know that he's not going to be successful on the ropes against Tank. You know, I think that was another one of Frank Martin's uh, mistakes right there, him allowing Tank to get him on the ropes multiple times in the fight and him having to get his, you know, fight his way or maneuver his way to get off of the ropes. I think that was a big mistake. He His fight was definitely in the middle of the ring. You know, with Tank, I think that's where he would have had his best chance to, you know, pull it off. Um, but yeah, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson, um, I think at this point, that's the only guy that I can see really giving Tank some type of a problem. Maybe Loma. I'm excited about this fight with Loma. He's saying that, uh, well, um, Bob Arum said talks are, you know, um, happening behind the scenes between him and Tank's team. And so I I definitely think that's a fight that people want to see. We've been calling for that fight a long time, but I'm not going to get into that with Floyd and all of that stuff. I just want to uh, stick to this topic with Tank versus Frank. Um, I think I said it all. I think that we need to give Tank his flowers. You know, Tank went out there and did what he's supposed to do. He downloaded information on him. He figured out Frank Martin and then from that point on, he executed his plan and got Frank out of there. Frank fought the wrong fight. I also think that Frank was a little nervous. You know, I don't, I'm not going to say he was scared, although I might. Yeah, I'm not going to say that he was scared. You know, I think Frank was reluctant to um, engage with Tank in the middle of the ring. It seemed like he wanted to uh, try to bait Tank into chasing, walking him down and running Tank into something, but Tank's IQ is too high for that. You're not going to get Tank running in. You're not going to run Tank into a punch or anything. like. He's going to do that to you. But, uh, yeah, we uh, got to give Tank his flowers. That's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the comment section with your thoughts. And on that note, I'm out. Salute.